Today we will be learning how to paint the Necron power weapons from the new Indomitus box set. Welcome back to the channel collectors. I know it's been a while since I've posted a new video, but here I am, I'm back. And today I'm here to bring you guys a new video of how I paint the power weapon on Necron miniatures from the new Indomitus box set. So if you're ready, let us begin. So right now we're going to be mixing different values of greys. The colors I have are Scale 75 Black, Vallejo German Camo Beach, and Vallejo Ivory. Okay, so I'm just mixing different values. If you want to understand more about values, you can check out the video that I did upon values which was published quite some time ago. This would really help. Okay, so in essence, what I'm doing right now is I'm creating different tones of grey. Okay, all the way from base layer to uh, mid-tones to highlights okay so they are total going to be about six to seven of these different values which I'll be using for the power weapon but I won't go through every single value I'll just roughly show you what values that I will employ onto the power weapons and where I place the highlights so for the first base layer what I'm going to do is Upon a black layer, I'm placing the first tone of grey. You want to make sure that you are as generous as possible and you can try to follow the box art if needed. I'm roughly remembering the box art but what I'm doing is that I'm trying to make this as uh, contrasty as possible. So I'm placing the highlights at different areas, at opposite areas of the blade so that the highest highlight of each blade is furthest away from each shadow. Okay, moving on to the next color. Sorry, moving on to the next tone. I decrease the amount of highlight needed. Okay, so I'm just roughly placing the highlight and just leaving a bit of the previous color. Why I pre-mix all my colors is because you can always go back to the previous color and soften the blends which creates a smooth transition between different tones and different colors. Alright, so I'm just very roughly plotting this in before moving on to the next color. Uh, so do forgive me, I've uh, not done any recording in a little bit, so yeah, I tend to go off camera and I need to practice that skill once more. Alright, so as you guys can see, we're just progressing on to the next tone, increasing in value and just gradually adding in more and more layers to make sure that you get this final effect. All right. So off camera, what I've done is I've done an entire glaze with airbrush using fluorescent green. So right now we're going to just fix up some of these highlights from the fluorescent green. Okay, so once the fluorescent green glaze has been done, what you want to do is, you want to start reinforcing the highlights. So what I've done is I've mixed Vallejo Ivory in with a little bit of German Camo Beige and Scale 75 FX fluorescent green. And I'm going to use this color to be doing the, hi the highest highlights and sharpening the edge highlighting on this. Thereafter, what you're going to do is, I'm going to spray the bleeds with some matte varnish and you will see the final effect in just a little bit all right so here we have it the illumina and as you guys can see that the power weapon is pretty much the center of focus of this miniature so as you guys can see this is a very quick and efficient technique for painting power weapons what do you think about this technique do you guys paint power weapons differently let me know in the comments below Alright, guys, you know the drill as usual. If you guys want to support the channel, do head on to the Patreon 
and we'll be producing a lot more exclusive content for Patreon. So head on there and support the channel today. All right, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video. See you.